Many of NFIB's members are farm businesses. They displayed their animals, their apples, and their agricultural methods last week at the Pennsylvania Farm Show. It's an important business. There are 62,000 family farms in our state, 12 million people are fed by their products, and one in every seven jobs is farm related. Dairying is number one ag industry in, in Pennsylvania, so it, it would have a huge effect. I mean, there's a lot of jobs that are associated with dairy that you just don't think about. And the plants, uh, just infrastructure. But farm businesses face challenges, and Pennsylvania's Secretary of Agriculture has addressed some of those in recent legislation, like changing laws about farm equipment traveling on Pennsylvania roads. Those unlicensed vehicles can now go 50 miles instead of just 25, and they can be larger. You know, they're not making the equipment any smaller, so uh, before it was illegal for us to uh, now with this uh, transportation bill, uh, it extends the width to 16 and a half feet. So we can take a, a combine or a, a modern piece of equipment down the road. The funding of the state's transportation bill also means rural roadway improvements and repairs to decaying bridges that barred some truck traffic. An NFIB member trucking company that delivers feed to farms explains they had to divert 20 miles around a weight-restricted bridge in Lancaster County, and that costs farms money. Uh, and we charge by the mile for our deliveries, so if we have to travel further, those additional miles get passed on and would raise the cost of the, the, the products that the farm uh, produces. The popularity of Greek yogurt resulted in lots of business from those New York food manufacturers, but Pennsylvania dairy farms found they were iced out of the bidding due to the lower weight restrictions on Pennsylvania roads that affected tanker trucks. They obviously did not get the contract for that, and that one contract that DMS was trying to get was $100 million. Since then, the Ag Secretary worked to get exemptions for milk tankers in that northern part of the state, and the roads leading from there to the New York border will be rebuilt to handle the load. This report was brought to you by the National Federation of Independent Business, NFIB Pennsylvania.